you want the ultimate tweaking tool for Windows 7 and Vista, keep watching this video. Ultimate Windows Tweaker for Windows Vista and Windows 7 has over 150 tweaks and settings. So if you're interested in this, just go to the link in the description for this video and then go to download Ultimate Windows Tweaker. After you do that, you want to save it somewhere like your desktop, downloads folder or just somewhere you'll find it easily and then run the raw file. After doing that, you'll need to extract the folder to somewhere like program files or somewhere else and then run the program. You'll see system properties like the system properties uh, window in Windows 7 and Vista. Going to personalization will allow you to do a multitude of things like disable aero shake and show menu bar and hide detail pane, a bunch of other things that you can check out for yourself if you want, as well as change uh, the drive layers. Clearing on user accounts and UAC will allow you to change your user account settings and UAC. System performance will allow you to change your waiting time to end services uh, in the shutdown process and kill non-responding programs. It also allows you to turn off data execution prevention and a bunch of other stuff if you want to. Security settings will allow you to change the security settings like uh, disable Windows updates, disable Windows Media Center, as well as a bunch of other things. Network tweaks will allow you to change network settings. Internet Explorer will allow you to tweak and customize with Internet Explorer, including 9. And additional tweaks will allow you to add things such as take ownership, search, add pin to star menu, and a bunch of other stuff to the right click menu. It also allows you to disable page file, but that's not recommended. Disable Windows startup sound, disable hibernation, and remove shortcuts from new shortcuts, as well as arrows. One thing this program does allow you to do is also add your own OEM information. This is handy if you built the PC for someone else, like a friend or family, or you just want to add your own personal touch to your own PC whether it be custom built or not. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.